Hey everyone, it's me, Max. And I'm Taj. And welcome to this episode of The, the Cars, Cars Garage. Garage. The Cars Garage is our place to learn, play, and create awesome things from the world of Pixar cars. Today in the garage, we're learning the science behind making cars go fast. Please say rocket boosters. Please say rocket boosters. Actually, I was talking about friction, and I know just the guy to tell us all about it. Miles! Hey guys, I'm really excited to help you learn all about friction today. You ready to have some fun? Yeah! Yes! Before we get started on our experiments, we're gonna learn all about how friction works. Friction is actually pretty simple. It's the resistance when one object travels over another. Friction slows things down. And if it wasn't for friction, an object that is moving would never stop moving. The more friction an object has, the quicker it will slow down. So if we want our car's die cast to go super fast, we want to race them on a surface that has the least amount of friction possible. All right, now that we understand the science, let's find some materials. Go! I found some glue. I found some soap. I found sand. Wait, why do we have this? And which of these will make our cars go the fastest? I'm glad you asked. Presenting my latest creation, the homemade science friction test track. Whoa! Whoa is right. I custom built this bad boy so you guys could test out different materials and see which one has the least amount of friction. And the less friction, the faster the cars are going to go. Exactly. Great job, buddy. Just remember, there's a lot of different ways to perform this experiment. If you want to use different materials, that's great. Just make sure and have an adult supervisor like myself there if you're going to do any builds or any tests. You guys ready to go? Yeah! yeah. All right, so we got our track and our materials. I think all we need now is some cars. That's right. And our cars are going to go through some rough terrain. And I think our XRS mud racing diecast singles are the best ones for the job. And remember, all of these cars diecast singles are sold separately. I'm ready. Let's go rough surface versus smooth surface first. Great idea. I think I got just the materials. For rough, we got some play sand. All right. And for smooth, some wood. Awesome. I'll use Lightning McQueen. Friction's no match for him. And I'm going with Jackson Storm. Wherever he starts, nothing can stop him. Nice. You guys ready to race? Yeah! OK. On your mark. Get set. Go! Oh! Oh! What the Woo! OK. So clearly, driving on the smooth wood has less friction. Yeah, and all those small, grainy bits of sand create friction and slow it down. What materials should we use next? Hmm. How about hard versus soft? Ooh, I got just the thing. These metal rulers for hard. That is hard. And this carpet for soft. Yeah, this will be the ultimate test of friction. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Hey, Max, put your engine to max speed. This ruler is going to be your new leader. Oh. We'll see. Speedy Comet versus Cruiser Maze. Hard metal versus soft carpet. You guys ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> yeah! Speedy Comet is the champion. Good race. Looks like metal's the winner. Yeah. Too much friction with the furry carpet. Now you're getting it. How about we try one more round? Yeah. How about... How about we get a little messier this time? Yeah. I've got just the idea. What? Oh, yeah. How about we use school glue for sticky yeah. and soapy water for slippery? It's about to get real messy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, time to apply our final materials. Got some soapy water. Ooh. Ooh, soapy. Now it's time for the glue. Oh. Ooh. This is looking pretty sticky. All right, you guys ready to race? Yeah! Cal Weathers 
versus Bear the Pedal. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Oh man, it barely didn't even get halfway! Oh! That was insane speed. Insane speed on that the soap. That was insane yeah. speed. Amazing race, Taj. Um, though it looks like Barry the Pedal is in a very sticky situation. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, he's very stuck. He's the gloozer. <laughs> he's the gloozer. <laughs> So apparently the soap had pretty much no friction at all because it went super duper fast. And on the other hand, the school glue took my rowing race car to a sticky stop. Yeah. I got an idea. What if we do one more race where you guys pick whichever surface and car you think has the least friction? Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Taj, who are you going with? I'm going with the Metal Ruler and Lightning McQueen. And I'm going with Soapy Water and cruiser mirrors. Yeah. Let's do one more race for oh, science. science. For science. All right, it's the final race. Lightning McQueen versus Cruz Ramirez. Soapy Water versus Metal. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah! my God! No! I think we gotta race again. Three, two, one, go. Whoa! It's too close to call! Let's check the slow-mo. Oh! Yeah! As you can see, the surface with the least friction can make a car go fast. And wow, did you see Cruiser Mira's on the soap? Man, now she's the cleanest and the fastest car in the world. Yeah. Thanks for all your help, Miles. My pleasure, gentlemen. Thanks for joining us in the car's garage. See you next time. Bye! Wow. I can't believe how steep the bank cool. is here at Daytona International Speedway. I know, it's like the side of a mountain. I can't believe the cars actually stay on this track. We have to find out how it works. Okay, but how should we start to learn about this? Well, first things first. Should we try to walk up the bank to see how steep it really is? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, uh, never mind. I think I'm good right here. Me too. This is hard work. Yeah. What's up, guys? No, no way. way! You're Riley Herbs, the NASCAR driver. Yes, I am. These banks are pretty steep, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Did you know these steep banks make us race car drivers go as fast as we do? Without them, we couldn't go as fast. Wow, so the track has to be like this to help the cars? Exactly. You guys are getting the hang of it. I got to go get ready for my race. But you guys will figure out the rest on your own. I know you can do it. Thanks, Thanks Riley. Riley. You got, got it! it. See you guys! Hey everyone, I'm Max. I'm Victoria. And I'm Jonas. And today we're at the world famous Daytona International Speedway in Daytona Beach. This track is so big and has so many cool places to visit. But, as you know, today we're looking at one of the most coolest aspects of the entire raceway. These insane banks, they're so steep we can hardly walk up them. So Riley Herbs helped us get started, but we still haven't found out all the details. Why is this track so steep on the turns? I think I have an idea, and I think I can explain it with the help of our good friend, Lightning McQueen. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hey guys, let's do some science. Yeah. yeah! The track at Daytona is pretty much like a normal road when you're along the straightaway, but when you get to the turns, it gets really interesting. As the track starts to curve, it gets more and more steep off the ground. Most professional racetracks have big banks on the turns so that the race cars don't have to slow down as they change direction. Why would they have to slow down? Okay, well, remember in the first Cars movie when Lightning is training with Doc Hudson? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when he fell in the cactus patch? That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> When race cars like Lightning move really fast, it's hard to change direction on a flat track. The speed means you could spin out, so you need the ground to push against. So when a track is banked like the ones here at Daytona, the force of pushing against the ground helps keep the cars stable as they make high speed turns around the track. It's all that force pulling in one direction combined with the speed of the race car pulling you forward, 
The banking really does make the turns a breeze. Exactly. Now you've got it. And the steeper the bank is, the faster race cars will be able to go. For example, here at Daytona, they're 31 degrees at their highest point. Wow, that's like an expert ski slope. Cars going around this turn are gonna have some serious momentum. I bet McLean would love to take a spin around this track, knowing how steep the banks are. Yeah. And we learned so much. There really is a lot of science that goes into racing. Can you imagine Lightning McQueen on one of those turns? He would smoke the competition. And thanks to Riley Herb for helping us out. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for joining us here in Daytona International Speedway. See you next time. Bye! Hey, Riley, do you mind signing this for us? Absolutely. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. See you, guys. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone, it's me, Victoria. And I'm Evan. And welcome to The Cars Garage. The Cars Garage is our place to learn, play, and create awesome things from the world of Pixar cars. Today in the garage, we're talking about propulsion. We're learning what makes things move so that we can move our cars die-cast singles using things you can find around the house. That's right, no need for gas here. And to help us learn more, we're getting help from... Milo! Hey gang, I'm super excited to help you learn all about propulsion. To start things off, what do you already know? Hmm, I think propulsion means a way of pushing something forward. Exactly, and there's a lot of different ways to propel something. To learn more, we've got a bunch of fun experiments planned. First, we're gonna test magnets, and then balloons, and finally, rubber bands. Cool! cool. And of course, I'll be here as your adult supervisor to help with all the experiments. So let's kick things off by moving cars with magnets. How are we going to do that? I'm glad you asked. Okay, before we try moving our die-cast cars with magnets, let's understand how magnets work. Magnets are metal objects with invisible fields around them called magnetic fields that have both north and south poles. We can actually use these magnetic fields to push and pull other objects. Let me show you. Using these simple magnets that you can get at a hobby or craft store, you can see here that when you put a south pole and a north pole, they stick together. But if you put a north pole with a north pole, or a south pole with a south pole, they push each other apart or repel. And we can actually use this force to push our cars. Now that we understand how magnets work, we can run our experiments. All right, gang, you ready for this experiment? Yeah! yeah. All right, I'm gonna tape these magnets to the ends of these sticks if you wanna tape those magnets to the top of the cars. All right. All right. I'll pick later. Chase race a lot. Oh, and make sure and put the red side up. Oh. You got it, you're pros. We are the pros. Science pros. Oh, and don't forget, all these die-cast car singles that we are using today are sold separately. Oh, that's looking good. Victoria, can I see Mater real quick? Sure. So check this out. Because we've got a north pole on this magnet and a north pole on top of the car, when they get close, they repel and move the car. Whoa! It's like magic! Even better, it's science. Who needs gas when you've got magnets? Hey, check out. I can drive Mater in reverse like this. Wanna have a reverse race? Pfft, you're on. All right, it's time for the ultimate reverse race. The amazing Chase Race A Lot versus the awesome Tow Mater. Woo, 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 woo. All right, gang, you ready for this? Yes. All right, on your mark. Get set. Go! Oh! Tomato's the winner! High five. All right. That was so much fun. What's next? Balloons. Yes. Balloons. All right, let's get into some balloon science. When you blow up a balloon like this, you're trapping a bunch of air inside. Now that air wants to escape, creating air pressure. As long as I hold the balloon shut, it stays trapped. But when you let it go, the air is escaping so fast that it propels the balloon around the room. We should be able to use that same force to move our cars on their own. 
Quick safety note, balloons can be a choking hazard, so make sure and always have an adult supervisor like myself present when running experiments like this. All right, let's get to the experiment. For this experiment, we are going to attach these balloons to our cars so we can harness the power of air pressure. All right. You ready? All right. Yes. All right, step one, take your paper clip, and you're gonna take the outside part, the skinny part, and bend it up just like this. Like that, like this. Perfect. Now we're gonna take some tape. We want just enough tape to wrap around the car. And you can take that strip of tape and kind of push down the middle of it on your paper clip, just on the table. And then you can stick it on the roof of your car. It makes it a little bit easier. Uh -huh. so right there in the top. No, don't attach to my balloon. And then wrap around. Make sure you don't block the wheels at all. He has a little unicorn horn. Looking good? Yeah, kind of. Perfect. OK, we're going to set that aside. The unicorns are free. Next up, we need our straws. Mm -hmm. I have this straw. And these are, bend these straws. So you can bend the straw with a 45 degree angle, just like that. This? Perfect. Perfect. Now we're going to take our balloon, and you're going to put the balloon on the short end, just so that the end of the balloon goes right to that bend. And now, this is the trickiest part, so it's OK if you need some help. We're gonna take our rubber bands and we need to wrap it around enough times so that all that air pressure gets sealed in. You need it tight enough to hold the air pressure in, but not so tight to crush the straw inside. So all right. when you're done, you want it to kind of look like that. And you gotta wrap it around a bunch of times to get it tight enough. Okay. Next step, take a strip of tape. And you can actually, just like we did with the other side of the paper clip, kind of stick it on just to get it in place. And then we're going to, I like to pull up the bottom of the balloon just to kind of expose the straw. And then we're gonna stick it right, kind of push it on, right on top of the paper clip okay. and then push. wrap that tape around. All right. And the paper clip just holds the balloon side of the straw straight up. I think I got it. There we go. Nice. Okay, last step. So you can see the straw's kind of wobbly on there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna tape down the other side and kind of put this tape right on top of the tape that holds the paper clip. Mm -hmm. So just right on the top and try and get the straw as centered as you can. Like this? Exactly. Last step, grab the, the whole the whole setup mm -hmm. and we're gonna cut off the end of the straw but leave like here, look where I'm doing it. You wanna leave enough space so you can still blow it up. Here? So, yeah. Whoa, whoa. They go fleeing. Oh, perfect. perfect. So here, I'll demonstrate on mine. Whoa, that's cool. That's big. I'm gonna pinch it, and then I'm gonna take one of these binder clips, and I'm gonna pinch that at the end just to seal in all that air pressure. And then Perfect. you set it up, and release. And that is the air pressure coming out of the balloon, getting forced through the straw, and pushing the car forward. Uh-oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. yeah. I bet my balloon-powered Daniel Swervez can go way faster than your Ryan Laney. Well, we'll see about that. Ooh, challenge! Accepted. You guys ready? Yes, we're starting our engine. All vroom, right. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, 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 vroom. On your mark, get set, go! go! Oh, it's close, it's Whoop. close. He's oh, swerving oh, off the road. Nice. Daniel Swervez has swerved off, and Ryan inside Laney wins! Woo! Good, Good job! job. Woo! Okay, so we know how to move our cars with magnets and balloons, but how are we gonna move them with rubber bands? That is a great question, Victoria. I'm glad you asked. I think it's time for some more science. Last but not least, let's talk about the science behind rubber bands. These amazing inventions have elasticity, which is a crazy word that basically means when you stretch them, they always want to try and snap back to their original position. Now with the right contraption, we can harness this power and transfer it into our cars, propelling them forward. Lucky for us, I've already built such a contraption, so let's get to the tests. Okay, now that we know the science, I am proud to present the Diecaster. Whoa! Whoa! That's awesome! Look at that! Can we race with them? Uh, yeah, why do you think I made two? Awesome! awesome! Quick little safety note, never point your launchers at people or pets. No problem.
All right, it's time for the Diecaster Showdown. My bubble wheelhouse versus the far superior Tim Treadless. Prove it on the pavement. Start your engine. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Three, two, one, go! Oh! And by Bubble Wheelhouse! Bubble Wheelhouse is the winner! Let's get an instant replay of that. Yeah, that was really close. Thanks for joining us today. We learned a ton about propulsion. Yeah, thanks so much for your help, Miles. Yeah, thanks. Are you kidding? I had a blast. Me too. Me too. See you all next time. Bye! Bye.